Hi everybody, I'm HP and today I'm going to talk about the, the great playing style of Mark Knopfler um, from the time where he was um, the band leader or the central figure in the band Dire Straits some time ago, but still a lot of people love this kind of music. And um, even if you don't know Mark Knopfler or um, the Dire Straits or you don't really like the music, um, this lesson shall teach you how to play um, electric guitar with finger picking. There are many, many advantages playing a guitar with finger picking. Actually, for me personally, um, the main, the main advantage playing with finger picking is that you really, um, you really have a softer tone. You have a lot of m more. Uh, touch I, I call it touch you, you really can play very dynamic with a lot of feeling and and stuff like this you can play more with double stops and you have more accents which you can play these are the the big advantage of playing um, with finger picking the negative part of playing with finger picking um, it's not so easy to play fast, <laughs> but maybe this is good because playing fast. Uh, what is why why you, you need to play fast? Because um, it's all about music, and we try to get one nice note, uh, create one nice note, is much more worth than playing twenty fast notes. So this um, tutorial might really help you to. Um, get some cool ideas or some good ideas how to get more into music have a better connection with the guitar for me personally you have a total connection with the guitar when you play when you play with finger picking and uh, the playing style of Mark Knopfler is um, a good example by, or the I really love his the, the way his approach to, to to tone and to playing and so it was easy for me to um, really listen to this kind of playing and to get the ideas out of it and for my playing maybe for your playing if you really want to get into um, Mark Knopfler's playing style my first very recommendation is listen to his music if you're into Dire Straits music listen to that music there are some really great songs there uh, I think today he's playing country music uh, but still he's a very good uh, guitar player and listen to his music, transcribe solos, transcribe, listen to it, try to really exactly get out what he's playing, and then you get really get into it. Here I'm just going to show you the basic techniques and some uh, slight examples <laughs> that you get the idea of it, how it's played, and then get more into transcription work, and this really helps you much more. Um, then um, I don't know then um, learning one lick after each other because when you learn licks I mean licks are cool I'm really cool but the the thing is you have you need to have this whole connection through the whole soloing and the whole playing and these are not licks this is music and this is what we're talking about here <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let's check it out what's going on with Mark Knopfler's playing style and finger picking style uh, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. It's also good for even for metal players. I mean, um, there's another disadvantage with finger picking—a slight disadvantage when you play distorted guitar. This typically, this fast playing stuff doesn't really work with finger picking. Well, there are other very cool features with, which are really cool, and you can even play. You really even can play harmonics with finger picking. I'll show you a few tricks about this. But that one is not, not from Mark Knopfler. He doesn't play harmonics. He, use, he uses um, a volume pedal. It makes a lot of volume pedal tricks, which we are skipping today because um, I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, so let's check it out now. Mark Knopfler finger picking guitar style. So for today we don't uh, make too much very close-ups because um, we need to see the connection between um, the right and the left hand. 
and the way it works and to really get into this kind of playing technique. So, one big advantage playing finger picking is that you that you can attack a chord, uh, you can attack all notes of a chord simultaneously. So, in this case, we have a D minor chord. It's the upper part of this normal D minor um, bar A. And here, we just play this one here. So, we attack with the thumb, index, and middle finger. And we attack it a little bit hard that you get this popping sound, this kind of it's um, much uh, this brilliant sound and this is what it's actually what's the cool trick is then we go to we actually play this progression D minus C B flat C D minor so we play D minor C the upper part of this without the root note and B flat try to first play just And try to really attack them simultaneously a little bit with a kind of a, um, a slapping technique like with bass players. And try to get this sound out of the guitar. It's not made from um, the equipment, by the way. This is a normal clean setting, a little bit with this distortion. And now once you have this together, try this one. was a little lick but <laughs> now the trick is we, we now we are working with finger picking with D minor so and then we stop it and then first comes thumb see first thumb and then the upper two fingers and then we attack all with each other see Then again, in this case, I, I use the upper part of D minor, this one here, see, and the upper part of C major. Just triads. It's very useful to know these these slight triads now with the with the with the root in the bass because these these are used very often by Mark Knopfler and other players, by the way. So, now that's the main thing, see? That's the main thing. Second part was like this. And now the ending. Slider in the seventh. This is also a big advantage of finger picking or more knob for style. Just slide in. And actually this is a, a C major chord with the triad in the bass. That's it. Very cool. So that's um, one part of this playing style. Another one with chords and this very popping technique this here and um, now we play power chords with a um, medium distortion another trick is that I play a G5 here just open string um, D and G string. Um, now you, you really attack them with the index and middle finger. And you attack them the same technique, just pull them up. And this gives this really cool sound. And you stop in between. That's really cool technique. And the main technique is really the <laughs> 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 
very cool. With the technique, just make a kind of a hook and just pull it up and make this popping kind of playing. <laughs> You can try anything which works, any kind of riff or something similar. Very cool stuff. Now when it comes to soloing, um, here we have also cool advantages. Oh, that's the wrong sound. So here we have it. Now I take as an example now uh, E minor chord. You can make soloing See? This case is the normal E minor chord, Barry, in the seventh fret. Now we use this chord as a solo. And we just, and to make it as a solo, you just don't pull it down. Um, you just, um, you have the, the chord in position, but you press one note after each other, C. Index, ring, pinky, middle, index. It's a bit tricky at the beginning, but it's not so hard when you know the chord. And you tack just one string after each other with one finger each. So thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky. See? second example you don't really need to really play only the chord but you can play out of the chords very easy and as a second example now we just play till this uh, to try to the, um, the G and then go back so we, we get out of the chord itself, that it doesn't sound too much like you just play the chord. Very cool technique and yeah, cool stuff. The next idea with soloing is that uh, <coughs> you can play fast. You can play fast um, with finger picking, but then you, you need to have your pull-off and hammer-on pull-off technique together. And then the trick is... And you need to know your, all your positions of the pentatonics, of course. Because you, you can play in one position, like position one here in D minor. As an example here, we just play this pull-off flick here. Root position. Then I, I personally, I don't know if Mark Knopf is doing this. I switch between index and ring thing. See. See? Index, mid, middle, index. Or the opposite. The opposite works a little bit different. In this case, I use the thumb. Start with the thumb here. And I use hammer on technique. Now I take the index. Index again and middle. So one finger for each string. Or what I also uh, really love to do is then you can play really fast. So you make this ha pull off hammer on lick here. Then you, you use one thing, picking finger after each other. And in this case, you can really play fast. And the trick is when you want to play nice solos, you ju only need a few fast uh, passages. And in between, you play melodic like. Now. And the other big advantage is when you can play the do like double stuff with, it, with this popping technique. Um, in this case, we're still in D minor, 13th fret, 10th fret. Or 
whatever you do like and you can use this popping technique by the way uh, Johnny Guitar Watson is another guy who plays this kind of technique which I really love he makes like uh, that's Johnny Guitar Watson <laughs> Yeah, these are really cool techniques using this. And you also, if you switching position, this is what Mark Knopf is doing. He's switching between positions, like we we're in the lower position of D minor pentatonics. Pull off again, same technique: index, middle, and now we jump up in the next position: in index, middle, index, middle. that one is more tricky and if you jump I would not use the pink here because I tried it just 10 minutes ago uh, it's a bit in this case you can um, get away from this normal hammer on pull off patterns which are used very often then you sound more sophisticated but it's actually the same technique same thing when you when you work up work up um, the pentatonics. As I said, you, you need to know the pentatonics at all positions. Like I start in position four. And then... And I just move up. And uh, here I start with the thumb index. See, that works pretty well. Very cool stuff. Now, last but not least, and then we are at the end of this lovely tutorial, playing this daughter guitar. Now, what we do with this daughter guitar? Where's the distortion? I thought I had some distortion. Yeah, my recommendation, don't use too hard distortion. <laughs> I'll have a little bit of uh, effects. Same thing, now when you attack the, <coughs> the strings so hard, you really get a very nice sound. But only if distortion is not too hard, when we switch to hard distortion, like this. I mean, it still works, so even harder distortion. works but then you really need to attack the strings harder and work more with vibrating let me see a softer distortion and even softer and now comes the one trick but that's one up from Mark Knopfler <laughs> um, making harmonics that works with heart distortion. In this case, uh, this is what I do often. I use my th my um, fingernail of the index finger as a pick. So you can even have this in between. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's more or less that the, the main thing. If you work with... Um, with uh, harder distortions or, or high distortion levels, you have more sustain. In this case, you really can work with overtone. You can really work with with um, with the vibrate, with slides, and with the, all these expression um, tools you have. It's really very nice. Um, to get into this kind of uh, playing technique. And um, yeah, I think we, now we have it, more or less. Yo, that was this finger picking Mark Knopfler tutorial. I would say for beginners. Um, of course, you can do a lot of more sophisticated stuff with finger picking. But these were the main techniques which are used. And as I said, my recommendation. Um, if you really want to get into Mark Knopfler style, listen to this guy, buy his records, and um, make transcriptions. 
What more to say about this? I think that's more or less that's what is needed to tell you. And um, yeah, just keep you, just keep it going. Yeah. 